You know, a couple months ago, I installed a HID lighting kit on my 2012 GL1800, and I love it. But today, we're going to install a professional plug-and-play HID light kit on this 1993 GL1500. You know, if you ride a GL1500, you're probably already aware they don't have the best factory lighting. But this kit is going to upgrade your factory lighting to high end density discharge lighting and it's a bi-xenon system which means you're going to have HID light on your low and your high beams in each bulb. Now what that really means is you're going to be able to see about a quarter of a mile further down the road at night than you can see with your factory lights. And what about installation? Hey this thing's simple. Anybody can do it. It is truly plug and play. Now I know there's a lot of HID kits out there and they all claim to be plug and play, but let me tell you something, this system truly is. There's none of these bulky harnesses like this that you got to install and run lines back to your back. I mean, look at that thing. Forget it. Are you serious? No. Nah. This thing is simple. You don't have to splice any wires. You don't have to cut anything. You don't have to make a bunch of ground connections. And so this thing is a true plug and play system. And they make kits for any year model GL1500. They even provide special bulb adapters for the different years. So, this thing's easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. Let's take a look at what comes in your Goldwing HID's plug and play kit. You get two HID bulbs, two ballasts, two wire harnesses, some bulb adapter rings to fit your year model GL1500, some alcohol wipes and adhesive pads, an owner's manual, a really cool sticker, and some cable ties. Release the windshield locks on both sides. Release the rubber boots from the chrome trim ring. And then slide the ring down to give you access to the garnish screws. Locate the garnish mounting screws underneath the chrome trim. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the garnish mounting screws on each side. Now you should be able to remove the garnish from the front of the bike. Next, remove the chrome trim piece just underneath the headlight. There are two Phillips screws that hold this in place. Each of the turn signal lamps is held in place with a small Phillips screw. Go ahead and remove these. The headlight fixture is held in place with four 10 millimeter bolts as shown. Next, we need to remove these. Remove the two top bolts with the garnish mounting bracket in place and set aside. And now you should be able to carefully uh, lift the headlight fixture, pull it forward away from the bike, and there is a single wire connector you'll need to remove and then set it aside. Be careful not to lose the small metal spacers that sit behind the headlight fixture. They Sometimes they stick to the inside of the fairing and sometimes they stick to the headlight fixture itself. Remove the H4 connector plugs from the back of the light bulbs by giving them a firm tug on both bulbs and then remove the rubber weather seal boots uh, off each headlight. The headlight bulbs are held in place with spring clips that you just simply press down and move them over to the side and then you can lift the bulb right out. Now we're ready to install the HID bulb. Be careful not to touch the bulb with your finger and go ahead and insert it into the headlight fixture. You'll notice this one already has the adapter ring installed for this year model. And don't forget to secure the bulb in place with the spring clip. Next, route the wires from the back of the bulb through the rubber weatherproof boot and reinstall the, the rubber boot. Now we're ready to start connecting the wires so you can see how everything fits together. 
all of the cables are keyed, all the connectors are keyed to each other, so they'll only go in one way. And just simply uh, hook everything up so you can see how it all goes together. Now, once we get this all together, we're basically going to test the light before we mount it to make sure everything works. Now you can plug the headlight fixture back into the bike, turn the bike on, and make sure the lights work before proceeding. It's important to clean the inside of the fairing underneath where the turn signals are mounted because that's where we're going to mount our ballasts. Here you can see how I've sort of uh, routed the wires from the ballast through to the headlight area and that's where everything will be hooked up. But the ballast and the ballast box will be mounted underneath the turn signal. Notice how everything in this picture has been reconnected, the H4 connectors and the waterproof connectors. It's a good idea to secure the H4 connectors using one of the cable ties that's provided as shown. Now we can reconnect the headlight fixture. Now we can reattach the garnish mounting bracket and the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold it on as well as the other two 10 millimeter bolts on the bottom of the headlight. Make sure to go around and tighten all of these bolts using a 10 millimeter socket. Using the adhesive pads provided in the kit, attach these to the bottom of the ballast and then mount them on the inside of the fairing underneath the turn signals. As you can see, there's plenty of room for the ballast and the ballast block to mount one behind the other. With all the wires connected, test the headlight one more time before reinstalling the turn signals. Mm -hmm.